Last week and this week, I put out a 14 point plan that I think would address the financial crisis that our country is experiencing. And immediately, some things that the Congress could do in order to address the concerns of average ordinary citizens in our country. First of all, we need a moratorium on foreclosures. Secondly, we need to renegotiate all adjustable rate mortgages into 30 or 40 year loans. Thirdly, we need to eliminate all adjustable rate mortgages. Fourthly, we need to eliminate all predatory lending. We also need to make sure that we redefine credit so that credit can work for small business owners and individuals and not against them. We also need accountability in the system, openness, transparency, and accountability. And so I have recommended as one of those 14 points that David Walker, the former Comptroller General of the United States, be appointed to audit every institution and organization that is receiving taxpayer funding. We also must make sure that our policy reflects the fact that we view housing as a right. It is unacceptable that we have people sleeping on our streets and they do so because they have no place else to sleep. It is also unacceptable that 25% of those who are sleeping on our streets every night in every city across our country are veterans who answered this country's call. The United States signed the United Nations Declaration on Human Rights, which recognizes housing as a right, shelter as a right, and that should be reflected in our policy. We should also make sure that the Federal Reserve should indeed be federal. And so therefore, the policy that I recommend is that we nationalize the Federal Reserve and establish a publicly owned banking system so that the government is the issuer of our currency and the debt that is incurred is to the American people. All lending is done for the benefit of the public and social good and not to the benefit of private financiers. I believe that we can begin to create an economic infrastructure in this country that truly belongs to the people of this country. Former Comptroller General David Walker warned us of the impending financial tsunami. It is appropriate that we gift to the next generation an economic system that belongs to us. We the people are deserving of a new U.S. economic infrastructure that focuses on the public good and that serves the public good and not private interest.